Hey guys, it's me, Steph, and it's Sunday, which means it's time for some a Sunday training. And tonight, I thought I would show you a cool way that you can customize your envelopes um, that's really affordable, and you can use basically any envelopes. Like, I just have these plain envelopes I got from, actually I got them from Dollar General. Um, I like the ones from Walmart a little bit better, personally, just because the envelopes are a little thicker. But these were what I could get, and, like, the whole box of them, box of 50, I think was, like, I don't know, $2 maybe, a dollar, I don't know, something like that. So I got a box of 50 of just the plain envelopes. This size envelope also is perfect for your Sent to the Month flyers, too. They are sized to that. And these are number 10 envelopes. So what I'm going to do is show you how to customize this using Microsoft Word. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So this is just Microsoft Word. I think I can drag this down a little bit. Microsoft Word um, 2013. You can really do it with any... Um, Microsoft Word document, it's going to work pretty much the same. So if you have a newer version, there may be just a little bit of tweaks, but basically it's going to be the same across the board. I'm just trying to make sure I don't make this too big where you can't see things. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click to start a blank document. Okay, so it should be doing its thing. And then I'm going to go to page layout. Okay, in page layout, I'm going to go up here to size and I'm going to pick the envelope number 10. That's four and a twelfth by nine and a half inches. Or, yeah. And then it automatically, it automatically is opening it up in landscape, which obviously is not the way I want to address my envelopes. Now, if you want to do yours this way, you know, more power to you. No judgment here. But I'm going to switch mine over to landscape because that's the design size I want of my envelope. Okay, so before I get started, I'm going to go in here and I am going to go to mailings. And I'm going to click envelope. And I'm just going to put, like, I've already got a return address in there. Um... And all I did was I typed it in here and I just typed it in there. Then I'm just going to put a sample customers. Um, so I'm just going to call her Jane Smith and she lives at 123 Sunny Drive in uh, Somerset, South Carolina. And we'll say that that zip code is 997, whatever. That is not real zip code or any of that. So then I'm just going to click add to document. Then it's going to add a second one of these. So what I want to do is come down here and I'm just hitting the backspace key. Um, I'm sorry, the delete key. And that'll delete that second envelope because we don't need that. We just need this information. Okay. Now, what I want to do is make this a little bit fancier because hmm, I like fancy. Okay. Because fancy makes people, makes us stand out and makes people want to be, you know, open their mail from us and it's not like a bill or whatever. First things first, though, I need to adjust the margins on my envelope because my envelope is like not quite the way I like it. So I'm going to go back to page layout and I'm going to go over here to margins and then I'm going to come down to custom margins and then I'm going to go to uh, my top margin at 0.12 and my bottom margin at 0.12. Then I'm going to do this margin at 0.5. Oh, and it didn't like it. So I'm going to tell it to automatically fix it. It's going to automatically fix it for me. And it did it to 0 0.65. 0 0.65. And that took my margins. You can see how that moved that up quite a bit higher. And this moved this down. So now I want to make this fancy because we like fancy, right? Okay, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come up to home and hit home. Then I can come in here and I can pick the fonts I want. So I'm going to just use Georgia because I like that one. And I'm going to take it up and I'm going to make it 14. So I can make it bigger. Now I also wanted to do the same thing with this. But I want to move this box up so it's more in the middle of my envelope. So I'm going to highlight that. And then I'm going to change the font size on this to that. Uh, to that. And then I'm going to change Jane Smith's font to a different font. So I really like to use the cursive fonts. You can use whatever font you like. Um, I like that one. And then I think Jane Smith is a little too small. So I'm going to make her name a little bit bigger. 
just like that. And that looks pretty good to me. So now I could do two things. I can use this just like this, create a mail merge from my customer list and automatically pull all this in. If you want information on how to do mail merge, we have a video about that on our YouTube channel. Um, just drop a comment and we can send you a link to that. But I still want this fancy. This is not fancy enough for me, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to grab a picture. So I happen to have a folder on my desktop already. I pulled some graphics together. Um, so I'm going to go to my desktop, but you can go wherever your folder is. And what did I call it? Graphics. And I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to insert it. Okay. So that's super big. So I'm going to come up here to positions and I'm going to come to this um, more layout option or that one, the center bottom one positioning. It is the one position, bottom, center, whatever that I just did that because I want to be able to adjust this. Oh, and I made a mistake. Er, okay. So undo is your friend. Undo, undo, undo. Okay. So you want to make sure that you don't have that box selected because if you have that box selected, guess what's going to happen? It's going to do exactly what just happened there to me. So if you, if you make a mistake, just hit undo. Undo is your friend. So now I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to go to picture because I don't have anything selected. I'm going to go to pictures. I'm going to grab our logo and I'm going to hit insert. Okay. So it inserted it. It made it super duper huge. I'm going to go to position and I'm going to position it like that. The bottom one, this is called a uh, position. Uh, what does it say? I don't know, the bottom right corner is what I'm going to do. Okay. And this is a PNG file. So you can kind of see the words behind it. I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to move it up just a little bit. So now the envelope is getting a little bit more fancy. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add something else because that's just not fancy enough for me. So I'm going to insert another graphic because I love me some bitmojis. I'm going to insert that. And I'm going to go back up here to our position. I'm going to hit that one and I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller. And I really want the flowers on the other side. So another thing I can do is I can go to my picture tools and uh, picture positioning. Nope. I can just do this. Grab it from the side and pull it over and just like that. Super simple. Just put your mouse on the dot until it makes the two arrows and then you can pull it and make it wider, smaller, however you want. Same thing with the corners. I can resize it down to make it smaller or bigger. So just like that, I want to leave room for my stamp and that is good. Now let's say you don't have a logo, but you still want to make it fancy. So I'm just going to delete this off of here. You still want to make it fancy. You can go to insert and word has this awesome thing called word out word art already built into it. So you could just come in there, click the word out design you want and type in happy mail. And let's say you want to change the color. Click here. You can change it to whatever color you want. You can go to other themes. Um, I like yellow. So, oh, that just made the background yellow. So you can do it like that. Then you can just kind of grab the corner and do it like that. Like that. You don't like it. Guess what you do? Hit the back button and make it go away. So there's lots of cool, um, functions in word that you can do. Um, let's say you just want to change it so it looks like this. Then you can grab it, pull it over here, or pull it. Well, let's say you want it on one line, delete, happy mail. You can put your mouse right here in the corner, turn it. Let's say we don't want this one anymore. So we are just going to click it so that the whole box is selected, delete it, and there you go. Super duper easy to make your envelope stand out a little bit more just for you. Now, when you're ready to print that, you're going to go to file and then you'll go to print. Okay. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have your print settings set correctly. 
So, um, you're going to make sure that the envelope here is on envelope 10. And then you're going to make sure you want to make sure you put your envelopes in the correct way your printer wants them. So like on my printer, let me switch to my full video so you can see me. So like on my printer, in the tray, there is an I there's a little thing right here that shows me like, hey, which way does the envelope go in, silly? And so basically, I know that my envelopes need to match that picture. So I put my envelopes in to match, and my tray kind of comes close forward and down so that the envelopes fit in just like that. And let's hope I didn't make any mistakes. And we'll go back over here. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. We'll go back over here. And then I'm just going to hit print to print one. Now, you may have to print a test copy to make sure nothing's getting cropped off or anything like that. There we go. Print. Okay. Helps if the printer is on. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Okay. You click print. <laughs> You're clicking. There you go. I did that though. Okay. This is just a warning that it's possible some of our stuff could be cut off. So you're just going to click yes. Because we understand that your printer can't print all the way to the edge, all the way around, um, which is where you may need to do some adjustings on your template. But once you have the template set, it's set so that you can just change whatever up you want to change. So hopefully ours comes out here just a second. And we'll be able to see what the finished product looks like. Hopefully it's not Jack Wagon. And so here is what my finished envelope looks like. Pretty cool. So that's a super inexpensive way for you to make some custom envelopes to make yourself stand out when your customer gets the mail. You could use your Cincy logo. You could do anything you want on your envelopes to make them look just a little bit more like Happy Mail. Um, where you didn't have to buy stickers, you didn't have to buy out extra things that you don't maybe already have. So this is a great way. Um, I know I made some mistakes, but you know what? That's real life. And if you have questions or you need help, definitely shoot me a message. I'd be happy to try to help you or get on a Zoom and um, walk through it again one-on-one. -on -one. Have a great night, y'all, and I'll see you real soon.